Hello and welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. What you're hearing now is I think our third or fourth attempt yep, yeah. to start the show. I won't get into what happened, but we just kept stumbling and bumbling and- w- We? Well, first of all, Sona, okay, not you, Matt, okay, not you. But uh, we try to take where Sona went down a weird road. We had to quickly stop it. Yeah. Um, then uh, I had a small, I'm just going to say it was an aneurysm. Yeah. Um, treatable. Treatable if there's emergency surgery very quickly. Whatever. Usually, I swear to God, we start this show and we just go, baby. And what you hear is what you get. Wait. That doesn't make sense. Because if you you heard it, you already got it. Start again. No, we're not starting again. We're going (laughs) to plow ahead. People need to know, if nothing else, we're honest. So we've never, ever had three attempts to get atop of a show. No. And today we did. And I'm saying, because there are a lot of people out there that think, how does Conan do it? This is incredible. He must be juicing. Oh my God. What kind of mind is it? Is Can we get a CAT scan or an MRI? Can we see what this Never. mind looks like? You know, whatever. All the stuff they did with that. Einstein. You know, can Never we study this? That. What I'm saying is that I'm trying to be open with you and say, yes, even I, even I, and if I can make a mistake, it's okay that you make a lot of them too, people. Is that endearing me to my crowd? What do you think? <sighs> I don't know. I feel like you lost it when you compared yourself to Einstein. Well, there are similarities. Oh, are there? Yes. Well, yeah, I like also uh, I also have had some of my best ideas while working in a patent office, what? staring at a clock tower <laughs> in a small German town. That's what he did. He just worked in a patent office and stared at a clock that was in the center of town. And that's how he thought up relativity and all those other, you know, that's where he had his A-bomb idea, Conan. He did not have the A-bomb idea. <laughs> um, my point what, is- What is happening? I don't yeah. know. Is that even is that even true for what? reals? Yes. The bad Einstein wor- staring at a clock? I've been there. No, you haven't. Yeah, you, wh- where's the town? Is it Ohm? Ohm? It's in Bern, Switzerland. Bern, Switzerland. That's right. That's right. He was in Bern, Switzerland, Einstein, and he was working in a patent office, I believe, at a kind of a humdrum job. Yeah. And there's a that's little- a museum you can go to now. Yeah. And there's a clock in the center of town, and he would stare at that clock, and that's where he started to hatch his early theory of relativity. I think he, he was on a little- train or a trolley moving away from the clock. And that's how he got the idea. He's either moving towards it or away. And that's how he got the idea for relativity and uh-huh. speed and all that. You know what? You know that there's something else to this story that's <laughs> missing, that if you could go back, Einstein was, you know, loved to pretend to be humble, but you notice how he took all the credit. Like, yeah, there's some I, was, kid, but- I was just on the train and it was moving and I saw the clock tower and, and then I thought of, and you know that there was a kid or there was like a, a ticket taker who came by and was like, you know, I need to take your tickets. I need to take your tickets. Oh, look at the clock. Everything's relative. <laughs> <laughs> right? And Einstein was probably like, I'm trying to sleep. No, but you see how the it's going and it's just like, do you think maybe there's a speed at which time would slow down? <laughs> and Einstein was like, oh, fuck it. He's always talking about speed <laughs> slowing down when we get faster from the clock. I'm just something, I'm, I'm just a humble ticket taker. But if, any, if that idea comes of any use to you, young patent man, uh, maybe you could include my name. He knew his uh, what's job. your name? My name is Hasselhofer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure, I'll include you later. Incredible, Einstein. Did this idea come to you and you alone? Yes, it did. <laughs> oh, man. Cut to Hesselhofer, who by that point has lost his job at the train station. He's wandering the streets of Switzerland alone with his broken cuckoo clock, <laughs> looking for a place to get some soup. <laughs> and he's reading, and he passes a newspaper. Einstein thinks up relativity all by himself. Right? Oh, Fucking man. Einstein. What a dick. I hate yeah. Einstein. No, but what I'm saying is you know that someone else, these stories, these stories, there's always something else. Yeah. So yes, you were there, right? Weren't you, Matt? You saw the clock tower. He didn't yeah. think of that himself. Definitely there was someone else. The museum is a patent office. Is that fun? Well, yeah. we went up to the door and didn't go in. What? Because it's like a <laughs> tiny little building and it felt cramped. I think I remember it being oddly expensive for what you're about to get. Wait a minute. You went yeah. to, you were standing outside the patent office, the little office where Einstein thought up relativity and you, all it took was for you to hand them 
a, a piece of dark chocolate and you could have gone and looked no. at the actual room where the single biggest idea since Newton had his theory of gravity and you didn't go in? No. Well, you could see in it from the doorway. Oh, you cheapskate. <laughs> I could see in it from the doorway. What a cheapskate. You used to work at Disneyland. What if I said, oh, yeah, when I'm on the freeway and you get nearby, you can kind of see what's going on in there. I'd understand. I didn't go say, by. Say, yeah, bless you, brother. I understand. <laughs> I've driven by. Oh, I was, we took off LAX and we banked and I could sort of see Disneyland off in the distance. <laughs> yeah, I got the idea. You don't have to go. And and also, I just want to see the room where clearly Einstein was goofing off. What was he? What do you mean goofing off? He was not doing his patent work. Oh. Sona, there's a lot of times at the office where you sit outside my office and you you could be thinking up a theory equivalent to relativity or something yeah, like that. I am. And instead, you're watching Sometimes porn at work. Well, uh, well, in my defense, first of all, my computer doesn't face anyone else, so I can watch whatever I want. And second, I just think that, like, you don't know what I'm doing. What's the dirtiest thing you've looked at at work? Uh, you really want to know? Do you yeah. really want to know? Okay, yeah, so know my, uh, you know, every once in a while, when especially when we go to Comic-Con, sometimes we think of and learn these new sexual acts. So, uh, it, not that this what? is new, but what does that have to do with our, Comic Con? What do you mean? We're off to, you know, we're off to a comic book convention. So, of yeah. course, that introduces the concept of sexual acts, perverse sexual acts. What do you, how do those two connect? We all sit around in the audience during when you're rehearsing and we'll be like, hey, does anybody know about padlocking? And then that's how we like look into it. But one of our favorite videos, and I'm saying our because a couple other people from the office came and watched it was a, a, a like a, you know, maybe a, it was like a fisting video. <laughs> oh my God. Did you watch that on the work computer? I did. Yes. Oh, was oh I, no. I hope HR was, doesn't find out. Like anyone cares at our office. Was I at work when this was happening? Yeah, you were in your you office. You were in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Unwillingly. I didn't know. It was a prank fisting video. Uh, it was a <laughs> I didn't know there, you could make a prank show like that. And I was, uh, what happened to Candid Camera? Those were such, it was such innocent fun. God. But uh, no, was I was I nearby when this was shown? Because I don't look at that. I'm not going to look at that. Don't no, you don't look at it. But don't you don't you never hear people like around my office congregating. They'll be like, "Oh my god!" I thought you were watching me at rehearsal. I'm like, "Oh my god, he's quick." Oh, that was a good edit. Oh my god, that was a deep, deep, deep thought he just had. You think we all get around and watch rehearsal and like cheer you on? I just, yeah. You're watching a maestro at the height of his game. When you guys were shrieking and saying, that is so amazing, I can't believe that just happened. I thought you were talking about rehearsal, not a fist going into another person's orifice. (laughs) Oh, come on. Well, anyway, my point is, to bring it all back, is that if fisting videos had been available... (laughs) In that patent office, we wouldn't have the theory of relativity, right? I think we should have gone with take two. (laughs) We'll never know. Well, many disturbing thoughts. A lot to chew. (laughs) I was going to say a lot to chew on, but I don't want to. Uh, Oh, come on. 